So a friend of mine just bought a scooter real similar to this um, for a uh, pit bike at the track. And uh, as they're questioning things and trying to get this going, Christy, this one's for you. It's just gonna be much easier for me to answer some questions, making a quick little video that can benefit others as well. But let's take a look at what we have here. Quite often on these mopeds, you have an oil tank, okay, that feeds a pump so that you can run straight gas. And just because this tank's full, just because it's present, does not mean that they've kept the engine oil injected. A lot of people that don't wanna to have to worry or rely on the oil pump, which in my opinion is just kinda of, kind of crazy. Uh, there's a, hopefully you can see it down here, there's an oil pump down here that's driven by the crankshaft. And I'm gonna show you one off on a training board here in a second. And that oil goes to here, and when you give it throttle, it predetermines how much oil is going to go through a hose and into the manifold so that you don't have to mix your gas and oil. Problem is, here's what I've seen a lot. People will take and put like a small BB or bear, uh, ball bearing in here, blocking this off so that they're, they think they're just bypassing the oil injection system. And then what they'll do is they'll mix up gas and oil like, you know, your two-stroke premix. Maybe they've got the same, uh, you know, they've got a dirt bike where they're trying to use the same gas can for both or something. So who knows? But people do it. So never trust the fact that the bike has the oil pump still on, assuming that it's good. Now let me show you on one of my training boards over here. I've got one made up. And it's in my two-stroke playlist, so you can take a look at that for a lot more detailed information. This is just a quick answer for a friend to not trust that the bike does not need to be premixed on the oil. So here's an oil pump. This is a snowmobile setup, but very common to a lot of vehicles, watercraft and different things. So you've got here, when you open the throttle, you're going to be controlling throttle cables and oil pump simultaneously. Now what happens, and what's great about these, is you notice they're clear oil lines. So if they're, if they're full of oil, there's a really good chance, obviously, that the bike was running on oil injection. If these were dry, in the case of that moped where it's black line, pull this end off and see if oil is present. If it's dry, it's been running without it. But once again, just don't trust anything. The, the procedure that I have detailed on my playlist is that on two-stroke oil injection, if this ever was run dry, for whatever reason, a leak or something, you have to bleed the system to get all the air out of there. And this is the bleeder on that. So this would be a feed line. This would be the output to two carburetors. Now, here's the thing. If you want to bypass this, what you should be doing is taking the tank off, getting rid of everything so that there's no assumption for the next person. But once again, people don't do that. So the other thing is, is there's a set of gears in here. And to think that the crankshaft is driving that and that would normally have oil come through here to, to lubricate it. And now you're running it dry. Obviously, that's a big no-no. But once again, people have done it. Uh, it's just uh, it's just not good I can't stress that enough here and this might be the feed line on this one now that I'm looking at it but my uh, my point is uh, just because it's there I'll just summarize this you can't trust it because what people might be doing and the other thing is they might have thought they bypassed this put the BB in there the ball bearing ran it the oil pump started getting noisy and then they go oh shoot let's sell this the engine must be bad when all it was was the oil pump is now going out because it doesn't have any oil to it so there's a couple of my tips hopefully it gets you a little closer into uh getting comfortable with your new little uh track pit bike and uh some questions answered there talk to you soon if you like what you see here would you please share it i'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh technical education and uh um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.